Welcome to I've Had Worse. This is the cursed video because we're on Take A Billion uh, and I have reviewed this last time and then that was so shockingly awful it didn't make the edit either. Binned. Cutting room floor. Welcome. Um, Harper Brewing Company's Toffee Ale. Um, so I'm just going to get this open now and then I can't stop once it's open. So Harper Brewing Company are LD's paper brewery. Um, they sort of get contract brewers and sort of chuck it under the Harper's name. Um, so some brewers have started to put their name on the front of the beers from Aldi. I know Shepherd Neem do a beer for them and I know that Hall and Woodhouse, which is Badger Brewing, do oh, God. concentration, um, do a beer. Uh, so all I can tell you about this one, nothing on the back of the bottle, except that it's brewed in Dorset. And that's where Badger Brewing is. So is this a Hall & Woodhouse beer? Don't know. Couldn't find anything out. If you know, drop it in the comments below. Let's get on with it. Okay, so I can smell that already. Is it toffee? It is. Isn't it? <laughs> so we have dark a brown. dark brown. Not saying the T words to describe that colour. Crystal clear. I poured it quite gently because I was trying to concentrate. Um, but the head is staying around. There is, I'm allowed to say it once, there is a toffee aroma, caramel, but it's sort of a bit astringent and if I'm honest, a little bit artificial. I think I picked that up last time as well. Okay, let's dive in. Cheers everybody. An unusual bitterness, a little bit of metallic copperiness there. The tea flavour, yeah, does uh, does follow through. Fudgy. Fudge. Yeah, so there's a definite distinctive caramel flavour, <laughs> um, but it tastes a little bit. Artificial. I think we said that about the other Harper Brewing one, the plum. Oh yeah, their plum porter. Yeah. Because it's got plum extract in it or something. Yeah. Now the, they do a. I did a triple. Triple header. Triple header, which got very confusing. I did Titanic plum porter. I did St Peter's Gate their plum porter, which are both excellent, and I did the Harper Brewing plum porter, which at the time. Um, Tasted, I think of that one, I think that's the one I, I chose um, in a blind taste test. But I've had a couple of different incarnations, one good, one bad. And I'm wondering if they've changed the contract brewer that does that. Because uh, there doesn't appear to be a consistency. This one is consistently weird. I can smell it from here, the sweet. Yeah, it's a sweet smell. Sweet toffee aroma. You can say that, I'm not saying that, but it, it's not, yeah, it, it's just, it doesn't taste sweet at all, um, and a little bit of caramel, but if I'm honest, it's not pleasant. I mean, it's not completely rank, but oh, let me have a good swallow, I might change that statement. It's not good beer. Okay, this could be a Marmite. You're either going to love it or you're going to hate it, and I am not loving it. Um, and this is the second one I've had, and, uh, you know, similar flavour profiles. Okay. Let me know in the comments. Have you tried it? Did you like it? Did you no like it? Um, well, it is only 139, so... Yeah, but... Okay. Do we accept that, oh, it's, it's cheap, therefore it's a shockingly bad quality... And that's acceptable because it's cheap. Or is it just a bad beer? And if it was a better quality beer, we buy more of it. And therefore, you know. Okay. Let me know what you think. I've made up my mind. You won't be buying it again. No, no. <laughs> okay. Right. I am just going to... Contemplate my decision and finish this disappointing beer. 
You can't win them all. Cheers.